so I was looking for something with a really nice belt. Oh my god, this is really cute. Hi guys, it's Anastasia and uh, this is my Zara haul video. I want to keep this channel really style focused and um, show you like things that I love, things that I get for my wardrobe and um, yeah just some of my things <laughs> that I love to buy for my wardrobe and how to style them and I also want to emphasize that I am a minimal um, shopper so when you have a minimal wardrobe especially when you have the children you tend to wear out things much quicker than if you um, had a huge wardrobe so that's what it is for me so um, I regularly have to update even my basic wardrobe and uh, yeah Zara uh, provides a good fashion and um, at good prices although I find that now it's not even that cheap I know that, I know that a lot of people um, again it's like into tax because of their sustainable practices but I think all the companies are trying their best and I picked also some pieces that are made from the recycled materials and you know these things were made available to me they were already here in the shop so I didn't have uh, to pay any extra um, uh, shipping uh, here where I live it's not like not all the like sustainable brands are available so sometimes you'll have to do with what you have of course I tried to to use uh, my travel opportunities to also pick up some new things but I don't always have the time for that anyways and also just keep in mind the things that I pick they could work uh, together with pieces that you already own like if you have a perfect shirt perfect uh, blazer perfect uh, pair of jeans uh, it's just amazing and um, you'll keep using it and in terms of trends I think the season is not so much uh, changing I just see like a couple of changes in terms of the, um, the colors I think the neutral colors are starting to clash with some brides that's why I'm wearing these uh, petrol blue um, jeans today because I feel like uh, you can't just do like all neutral wardrobe anymore it's it's kind of like becoming a part of the past of course if that's what you're comfortable with go for it but I just want to give you ideas about how to take it from here to the to the future and I think in summer we'll see much more colors uh, in a wardrobe and like more funky shapes so yeah <laughs> why not let's do it so my first item was actually a pair of trousers that I was hunting for for my um, for my work capsule wardrobe I have a perfect shirt it is a bit cropped so I was looking for something with a really nice belt like with the with the high waist and I did see a lot of the black trousers uh, out there and then I said that uh, they're not really working like so well for this outfit and then I said oh maybe I'll I need to find something that is a bit like wool with a, with a pinstripe and navy so this is perfect actually this is what I was looking for I was looking for uh, at Nether Porter at other like uh, more expensive uh, brands and there was nothing and this was just there and Zara and it's really nice I don't think it's 100% wool mm, I got it in a size extra small they actually do fit uh, a bit bigger it's a polyester and viscose so fits really nicely I think I'm not gonna um, wash it like it's a, gonna be a dry clean only for these pants if you need some kind of alteration you can actually do it on here saying that don't be afraid to alter your pants if uh, you need it because they can't definitely do like every single length and waist at, uh, at some of the shops um, also their length is pretty long so I would wear them uh, with the heel uh, with the pumps and with the heel sandals but that's what what I was intended to wear I might try if it might work but also with uh, with the loafer maybe with the chunky loafer it would work because it will give me a similar height also love it um, that they have a loop belts and they made really tidily and I'm gonna wear it with uh, my um, small but tiger belt also feel like belts are gonna be bigger this season so you can actually start investing in them again I felt like a few seasons ago um, nobody much pretty much used belts 
saying that my second item in my haul is also a trouser. This one is fully black. And this one does come from the partly recycled material and it does feel really nice. Um, I did try a lot of brands for the like polyester kind of trousers and uh, I would have to say like I had a pair from Topshop. It like was perfect for me. I had it um, three years ago almost and I worn it out uh, because I was washing it. Um, so yeah, sometimes you want a cleaner feel, that's what makes you wash it, but if you want it to last longer, try to dry clean it. I know it's not always an ideal situation, but uh, polyester will uh, lose its shape. Only if you have like a technical trouser, you might be able to actually wash it in the machine. <laughs> the trousers also give me massive Bottega vibes as it has this. A triangle thing on the belt and um, on the back it also has a back pocket on the it has two backside pockets and one of them also has a cute triangle I actually already wore it today so I'd say it's gonna be really really versatile for any kind of environment so in my very warm climate it, it worked really nicely I think for the cold weather it will look even work even better i would style it with like oversized neutral tops for like my more casual look and i would style it also with like something fitted maybe even something cropped for a more polished look and if you want to accentuate the waist you, you actually don't actually need to add much to the belt because it's made in a really nice way that it already has an accent they do come a little bit oversized as well and they have the slits on the side they also are on the longer side but because of the slits i wore them yesterday with a pair of trainers um, and it was perfect i didn't have to worry like it was not too long for me i'm 5'7 so not super tall i usually have to crop my like jeans and trousers of course you'll need some new basic updates uh, in your wardrobe for a season. Mine wear out every six months or so, so I picked up these two tops of uh, like light, quite lightweight. If you are if you're living somewhere cold, go for something a bit dense material. Probably uh, you can go for the dense uh, like poly polyester fabric or something like merino or cashmere. I think merino is nice. It washes well and it stays kind of nice and it's warm. This one is a more optical white and I'm gonna style it when, I, when I'm gonna be dressed up. So something like more elevated for work situations. Uh, always like a good nice layer for any like blazer. It is a little bit like it feels a bit cold against the skin. So it's not gonna be a pretty one piece pretty. For the styling reasons, I got it in a size uh, small. I think that line didn't have extra small. It just starts from from that one. My other uh, top is a more off whitish, and it's so soft and nice. It has a little detailing here uh, on the side, like a rushed side, and I think I'll use it for like, easy styling with like when I just will wear jeans and this top and my favorite pair of sneakers. And um, I have a couple of like cotton and the wool, like in a nice like and not dark materials. I like to use off white to come combined with like like pastel not pastel but I have like this nice light blue jacket that I'm gonna style it for the colder days also it might look nice with if you combine it with like any other um, colors and uh, yeah just like a few minutes of it is really nice and for like when the weather is really cold uh, you can uh, layer them up and my next items will show you exactly uh, what you can do uh, with them so my next item is this vest it's made of the woolly type of material let me check what is it, it exactly it looks like a viscose okay it actually has uh, cotton and polyester I think it's also probably they would use some recycled materials. Yes, the join line. At least 15%, so it's pretty good. It comes with the trousers, but I'm not that type of dresser that usually wear like knitted uh, long trousers. But I have an idea that this would go quite nicely with any of your existing like shirts or long sleeve tops as a, an extra 
layering piece um, it might be really essential for uh, anybody who's working and I think I would even like style it with um, skinny trousers I have ones I'm waiting to receive from Mango I would wear it with a mini skirt I would wear it over the shorts and um, yeah, similar items of course with any trousers uh, it will make a beautiful combination so this is gonna be like super versatile you wear it a lot it comes in a couple of different colors so there's a beige one I think there was a white one so I picked the gray one because I think it looks more flattering most flattering with my skin tone beige was a little bit off I think if you're blonde maybe go for the beige color so more layering and uniform pieces. I loved myself. Um, I first saw the this vest. It's like a gilet, and it comes slightly oversized as well. I went for a size S. Um, sorry, extra small, but it does run a bit big. Um, it has a little button here, so it really nice. It makes nice accent in the middle of the waist. So my idea was to, uh, have a perfect shirt. I have a couple of them. I have one that is a bit more like structured and short and another one has a bit full of uh, sleeves so it will go nicely with both and um, I like how it adds the definition with the v-neck and um, in the same way I'll wear it with the two pairs of trousers that I already have with any jeans and um, yeah it's just gonna be super nice and uh, versatile piece it's for anybody who likes the high contrast as well like white and black it's just so timeless I love uniform dressing I saw it in a, uh, on a lookbook at Prada uh, Mango is doing a lot of different things and you'll see um, the, my Mango haul later on this channel so make sure you subscribe and later I actually look at the lookbook and I I thought it would be nice to have a sh something short like shorts or a skirt or a mini skirt from Zara I didn't find any mini skirt unfortunately but this is of shorts a uh, pair of shorts that uh, is meant to come with the West I might not wear it uh, together all the time I'm I think I'm gonna be interested to wear it also um, like with just like all of my other basics I didn't have any shorts like this before of course you use them for summer I have my summer shorts and this is something uh, really new and um, the shorts are cool because you can wear them with boots and everybody will see your boots you can wear them with the ties I think like the tights fashion is gonna be kind of like coming back and gonna be big this season because you know it's after COVID everybody start going to offices again everybody start uh, going out again and um, so also like adding any belt this is such a like nice versatile piece has a pocket on the back and like two big side pockets here and the pleats so just make sure uh, like you know what kind of like style works for you I like always make sure it's a bit oversized and I like when they have the pleats uh, this is something a bit to spice it up uh, the wardrobe essential styling piece as I think parachute pants so um, if you live somewhere a bit cold it might be a bit early for you in the season but if you really love the piece maybe get it anyway because you might be traveling some more warm for the holidays right I think it's just gonna be so cute it's really lightweight uh, it comes in two colors so it was this one and the khaki I went for this one I like the sleekness of the belt and they don't look you know like really like wrong really masculine they're really really feminine because they have the really nice and fine details and uh, they actually make your waist really small and they look make you look really cute I think and I'm gonna uh, try to also style up with some of the tops that I got with the long sleeve but I think they could be uh, they're gonna be best with a cropped tank top uh, maybe a blazer and maybe a colored shirt so the idea is for the season to have pops of color anywhere somewhere and so I saw one of my favorite looks there was a girl wearing uh, all like beige outfit um, with like a bomber and some neutral jumper and she had like a pair of absolutely like, bright uh, parachute pants you can also check out I think at Bershka they have some pink ones some blue ones I'm gonna just 
start with the neutral and we'll see how it goes for me. Finally, for the pop of color, my next item is this beautiful shirt. I, uh, for a long time, I fancied myself like some bright accents in a white wardrobe, like the red or the pink. I used to wear a pair of um, pink uh, jeans from Celine. I have now uh, worn them out and I was looking for something new that could be like nice and bright. And I was thinking about the pink or the red. It actually comes with a few, in a few different colors. So there is pink if you prefer, uh, that's one. And there's also off white. It is really bright because like the both the material is really bright and the color is bright i think it also comes in black so i think if i was in europe i'll probably go for the black one and um, this is pretty red um, my idea is to style it with the jeans not with like colored jeans of course uh, this will be gonna be too much and that is the matching jeans in my opinion because i wanted it to be a bit more like muted and like lighter blue i don't think it would go with a deeper blue i will also i also could try it with like some metallic i think i'm gonna have a pair of metallic pants in silver in my wardrobe I'm waiting to get one from a mango and I also have a pair of like red orangey trousers and I'll, I'll try to style it together and um, the, the only problem with those things that are really bright I find that they don't really go nicely with the black accessories so they need accessories that will be I like metallic or like also like in a bright color or in white so maybe i'll have to add like a white or metallic clutch to my wardrobe to make it really work so it is working as a capsule uh, for the shoes i have metallic um, shoes by bottega and i want to try it as well um, I, i'm curious if it will work with the purple i think red and purple kind of work together it's a bit crazy but if you're into that you can actually give it a try it's a bit more like brave combination for those who can wear it uh, the jeans are uh, the flare pants and there were a couple of different styles I actually posted them in on reels on my Instagram because I couldn't choose I went for this one because it's fitted on the thigh and um, it is finished on the hem I thought I would I like myself a finished hem look of the denim for the season although the raw denim also was really nice but you can't have too many otherwise it's not a minimal wardrobe anymore and i like also that the thread is like beige on a gold side there's a gold um kind of like rose gold buttons in here that make it overall really nice and um, I think the most importantly, like the pattern of the jeans, if you try it on, it works. You can see that it works. Like I'll show you the highlights on the jeans actually work for my body proportion. And I also love that it was really easy to wear it with a flat. Usually the problem with the cropped, with the flare jeans, they might be too long. Although like these days, I feel like it's fine. I actually do wear my flared and long jeans with just like anything with the flats. But I think I had this idea from before that uh, you, you have to wear it with a heel, but it was not totally true. And I, f I feel like these jeans give me like French vibes and I could actually wear it you know, like in the summertime. Let's see how it's gonna happen, especially for the spring with like some flowy blouses. If, I, if I'm, I'm gonna be back to that again. <laughs> so that's the jeans. And finally to the fun part, our first item is for like adding it to like a going out wardrobe, maybe to the holiday wardrobe. I haven't actually tried to start it one yet, uh, but I find that the color is so nice and it's, I think it's gonna be like a very flattering color for me. It is a cropped top with these like puffy sleeves that is not a puff, but more like a long ruffle. It comes cropped, so idea is to wear it possibly also like with the high waisted jeans with one of the pants that I have or with my going out pants that are like a little bit um, with a silky finish and um, I have a lot of shoes that are sparkly so I don't want to make so much like shiny accent on the top part so we'll try to see how that would work possibly also would go 
quite nicely with the metallic or with like with like leather pants if you have a leather pants especially uh, the ones that are a bit wider fitting with like higher waist and they could be a bit masculine because this is a really really feminine and like flattering uh, to the figure and you could set it off with something a little bit edgy and masculine on the bottom part so this is what i'm gonna try to do for the season i don't have anything like that right now but just have an idea then i was um browsing uh on the second uh day and i i found that they were making these blazers again i don't remember if there was any other colors but I um, I tried it before. It was a similar blazer, not with like full velvet. It was like more in a satin with the like, combination of velvet, or it was maybe a velvet with uh, with a satin color. And um, they ha just have such a great fit. So with the Zara jackets, I find that the ones with a big buttons on a side that are a bit like Bellman, they don't really work for me or for my proportion. But something with single button is just amazing. And I never had anything like this uh, in my wardrobe and I think it's something that I'm gonna be wearing a lot and I like that it is soft and moving I like my blazers to be like more allowing the movement like if you want uh, to wear them out uh, just makes like it more like body friendly and comfortable um, to wear uh, similarly I think it will go beautifully with a pair of jeans that is like medium to slightly lighter shade like not so dark it will go nicely with the metallic anything with like it's shiny and will be really easy to accessorize it with either a belt or that I never do that a belt over the blazer because it's just doesn't look like really natural to me but uh, definitely like some chunky necklaces maybe uh, you could wear the braless or with like a uh, something like a mesh bodysuit underneath um, just so um, to make sure like all this like beautiful like v-neck line stays open and not interrupted by any anything else inside and finally <laughs> And finally, it's this one little bag. I was actually passing by Zara shop just just before I went to the, uh, to Zara, and I was like, oh my god, this is really cute, and this uh, gives me total Prada vibes. Prada is where like, all these um, like glitter and uh, diamante covered bags for a few seasons now there's one with the reissue now there's a triangular one that i really really love and this one is really cute and it's made a really nice manner i don't see uh, um, any like odd things here it was made really tightly and um, the strap is uh, made of like silvery uh, material that is like braided around and it's not too small so if you ha want you can actually wear it under the shoulder i think it's just going to be such a great and fun styling piece and i definitely didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe i have a couple of clutches and um, like small bags but they never fit anything and this actually fits stuff i feel like it fits stuff I have a dual um, saddle bag, but it's actually quite challenging also to style with everything because it has quite big like letters and hardware. So I think I would prefer something like this, and I would style it with like any of these party outfits in here. Definitely with it all black and with the with the red shirt and blue jeans as well so uh thanks for watching my uh, haul again i hope you loved it uh, let me know what items you loved the most um and if you'll be shopping uh, with my recommendations please tag me on instagram and send me a dm i would really like to um to see if you like something from this video uh i also will be grateful if you put a thumbs up on this video uh, if you loved it because it will help me to grow this channel don't forget to subscribe as well and yeah see you in my next one with more fashion content bye